So I wanted to show you guys one of my favorite monthly activities is to play with composition notebooks to see um, how I can fit layouts and different things. This time I'm focusing on quarterly and I'm really excited to show you what kind of space I have and how I fit everything in there. So let's go ahead and jump in. For the quarter one page, I actually used watercolor to stain some grid paper that I had and I really liked the way that it came out. Did it very simple. Tried to do some rip paper to add a little bit of texture and things to it. Then I had a whole chunk of paper that I'm not sure what I was planning on doing with. I don't know if I was going to break it down and do a bunch of fun like trackers or what I was going to do with this section. And now that I'm going to eventually use this book, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with those. But then I did the favorites page and I wanted to keep it kind of simple. I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of instead of doing it by sections is to just kind of add in my favorite songs, movies, books, and just kind of make it like a collage kind of thing. Um, maybe even with like book covers instead of writing down the, the titles. The content stats, I wanted to do stats for each month um, and gross and then on the chart toppers what was my top three videos what was my top three topics and then content creation i broke it down by the first tuesday second tuesday third tuesday fourth tuesday fifth tuesday and then um, themes for shorts and that's actually how I do my planning now, as I break it down by what Tuesday it is and what videos I'm going to do for those. And then I had a video ideals page. Had vision board. Um, yes, I know vision is misspelled in case anyone sees that. Um, I fixed it. Word of the quarter. I kind of wanted to do it like word of the year, but it would be really fun to do four different words. And so I wanted to add it so that we could do a word of the quarter. And then affirmations, just listing some affirmations and writing them, putting them in bubble quotes, just kind of decorating that way is my thought. And then the two blank pages after affirmations are actually for trackers. I didn't draw any trackers in because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the monthly layout or if I wanted to do um, like the pixels or I'm not sure how I wanted to quite set up the trackers so I just left that one blank and wrote down trackers and pencil and then quarterly goals I have 12 spaces for 12 goals for each month broken down by the month and then because I'm not sure what year I'm going to use this for I'm thinking 2024 2025 I didn't want to write the dates in and you'll see that that's kind of the same way as, as the full quarter page that's over two pages and you have to turn your book sideways but I like being able to see the entire three months all in one shot it really is an amazing tool for me as an artist and then for January I have a quote page situated across from the cover page and then I'm really excited on how big this calendar is for the month and the two little to-do list on the side and then for the to-do list for the, every week and having it broke down, um, giving a line for to-do list for that week is really exciting and I did it for every week.
And then what I did is I left enough pages so that every day um, would have its own page, kind of like a Hobonichi cousin. You would have a whole page just for a day. And each month has a total of 24 pages, which is almost 50 pages front and back. I mean, 50 sheets front and back, but it's 24 pages. I counted it out. And that left me with enough room for extras in the quarter part and anything else. So that was the setup. As I said earlier in the voiceover, I don't remember why I separated out this much for the quarterly. I'm not sure what my plan was, but there's a lot of room in the quarterly to add all kinds of fun, like trackers and whatever else I want to add in there and still have enough for the monthlies and everything. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Fun with me.